Hey guys, Brooklyn here. Welcome back to my channel, Miss Brooklyn's Journey. In this video, I'm taking you guys through everything I ate. It was a bit of a celebration and a cheat day for me. And I'm going to show you guys how we celebrated the new year, which for people of my culture, Haiti's Independence Day. And my mom actually taught me the soup recipe. And I am going to show you snippets of it. But I'm also going to show you how I was able to fit this into my macros. It was a super chill day, a very comforting day. Let's just jump right into the video. So I'm going to start my morning off with taking my fiber drink and of course this is nothing new to my channel I've actually showed this on my channel before they are the sponsors of today's video as well this is the Bellway Super Fiber. I am a major advocate for psyllium husk. I talk about it a lot. And I'm a major advocate for a healthy gut and regular digestion. As a person that suffers with IBS, taking daily fiber supplements is extremely imperative. I love Bellway Super Fiber plus fruit because it tastes really good and it is not overbearing. It's not gritty. It doesn't leave a nasty taste at all. It's almost like just infused water. What I like about this particular brand is it promotes a happy gut. It helps you go to the bathroom very smooth and promotes less bloating. It also helps you feel fuller for a longer time and improve health and as well as clear skin and healthy hair. You can use the coupon code down below in the description box to save money off of your purchase with Bellway. I have everything you need down below in the description box, so make sure you take advantage. As I said before, this is not the first time I actually show this product on my channel, and I've been using this for months, for months. I take it every day, take it every single day, just one glass of water with a simple scoop of the fiber, and I mix it in. And I also add my apple cider vinegar to this because that is how I'm able to take my apple cider vinegar with the mother. I only take apple cider vinegar with liquids and I do it twice a day. So this is one of the drinks I drink with apple cider vinegar. And it's super easy. It dissolves really well. As long as you have the, the drink at room temperature, I suggest you drink it right away. And if I fail to mention, this is the raspberry lemon flavor. And because I'm intermittent fasting, this does not take me out of my fast. I can have this as I'm intermittent fasting, so it's pretty good. <clears throat> so it's really good. It literally just tastes like flavored water um, with some acidity because I add the apple cider vinegar. Uh, I hate taking apple cider vinegar, and like I mentioned, this is the best way for me to take it, and I only take apple cider vinegar in liquids, and this is allowing me to get extra fiber in. The flavor raspberry lemon is really good. Um, I tried other flavors as well, but I really, really like this flavor. So yeah, info is in the description box and you guys can check it out. Don't forget to use my coupon code. Save you some coins. And look how fast. It's almost done. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm almost done already. That's how quick I just downed this. One, two, three. So yeah. It's about an hour later and I'm going in with a little bit of coffee. Now you guys may know that I am no longer keto for the moment, but I'm going in with some coffee right now. And just because I'm no longer keto does not mean I go crazy with just eating or putting anything in my body. No, that's the farthest thing from the truth. So I'm just using a little bit of the zero sugar creamer. Um, it's French vanilla. I just added it in the coffee and have it like so. All right, you guys, so today or the day that this video was filmed was Haitian Independence Day, January 1st. If you don't know about Haiti's independence and what they have done for basically damn near the entire world. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, every Haitian Independence Day, we have this celebratory freedom soup, which is pumpkin soup. This year, my mother taught me how to make it. And that is the pumpkin that she already um I guess boiled down so that she can puree it and she already started cooking the meat now the meat is an array of beef you see oxtails here you have some ribs here some pork some beef back it's just an array of beef and a little bit of pork and smoked turkey in it for a very flavorful broth every Haitian household makes this soup different so um, I don't know how other households make it but 
I'm just learning the recipe that my grandmother gave to my mother and now my mother's giving it to me and my nieces. Um, it was like five of us in the kitchen and that's why me filming this was not the best. But all you see here is her leeks, carrots, celery and stuff like that, like really root um, vegetables that she's thoroughly cleaning and washing and making sure that there's no sand or grit in it. And she just stressed how important that was that you have to make sure that there's no sand or grit in between your leeks and your celery and stuff like that. She's taking the pumpkin and she is going to puree it. And this is squash, pumpkin, and I think like two different type of pumpkins and squash. And she just boil it until it gets soft. She takes it out the skin until it gets soft and then puree it. And she puts it in that flavorful beef broth that she used and cooked the meats with. Of course she took the meat out. You don't add the meat until later on. And here she's showing me more root vegetables that she's putting in, like the potatoes, the yam. I believe this is called jicama. I think this is jicama. Um, I'm not too sure, but she basically puts potato in yams. Um, not, not the yam that American call yam, like yams that Caribbean call yam, like the yellow yam is really hard. I wish I took a clip of it. Um, whatever. <laughs> I wasn't showing the full recipe, but anyway, um, right now the veggies go in as well as all the potatoes It's like different type of potatoes and jicama and again, like yams, not sweet potato yams, but I don't know the name of it. I really don't. I'm sorry. Um, yuca. Or I think it's called yuca. I'm not. I'm not too sure. But you see me dropping it in, or she's dropping it in. Anyway, um, this is just like, uh, I guess like a short version of the soup. The soup actually takes five hours or more to make, depending on how much you're making and what route you take. But this took about five hours because you have to cook the meat, this the, the squash, and all the other stuff. Uh, we're about thirty percent. We're about seventy-five percent done with the soup here. The last thing she got to do is put the cabbage and the pasta in the soup. But this is the finished product. This is the soup. And this is my first serving. I always have like two bowls of the soup. And so you guys did not see me eat anything. Um, this is the first serving. This is how I'm actually going to physically break my fast. And it was about 3 p.m when I had my first bowl. But doesn't this look so good? It looks so good and it's so filling. It's so hearty. It's the oxtails for me, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys can let me know down below if you're interested in learning Caribbean culture food and like, like really learning to get in the kitchen and make other types of foods and other culture foods, I can start implementing some of these things on my channel as well. Again, this is not keto. This is not low carb or anything like that. Just because you're sorry doesn't mean you love me. I wish you could understand that. Just because you're sorry doesn't mean you love me. Why should I take you back? Just because you're sorry doesn't mean you love me. I wish you could understand that. I wish you could understand Just because you're sorry. Just because. You said all the words that you could have said I'm still trying to This reminds me of my grandmother said. so much Should I, take a I miss her I regret the, um, Growing up, we were so American That we didn't want to eat a lot of our cultural, cultural food Because, you know, we're American And this is one of the items that we would not eat at all but my grandmother would get my cousins and i and even my nieces to eat this by putting a tablespoon of sugar in the soap and that tablespoon of sugar would make it slightly sweet and it just made it that we would eat it until this day every once a year when we have this the whole entire house know Where's the sugar? Put that one tablespoon of sugar. And I know a lot of um, authentications are cringing, but that's how my grandmother got us to eat it. And it worked. But it's so good. It's not that it turns it into a dessert. It's like what if you would put a little sprinkle of sugar in spaghetti does. That's what this does. You know how you put the little sugar in the sauce of the spaghetti? I don't know why people put it on top of the spaghetti, but that's your business. 
um, a little tablespoon of sugar. We, they don't do the whole pot because the traditional Haitians, I guess, wouldn't eat it. But as Americans, you need it. I won't eat it without it, and because of because I don't eat or consume regular sugar, I just put monk fruit sugar, um, a tablespoon of monk fruit, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of monk fruit sugar. Mm. It's just so spicy. I love it. I can feel my lips. Like, you know, when food is so spicy, you can feel it in your lips. Yeah. I can feel it. My lips are pumping up because it's so spicy. Mm. You don't have to be Haitian to try to soak. I have neighbors that are Jamaican and Trinidadian, and I have family that is. Guyanese due to marriage and things of that sort that's now married into the family and other like Caribbeans or Hispanic cultures they love the soup as well you don't have to it's so good it's so good mm, it's amazing and this is just a big bowl of comfort and freedom you already know, 1804, baby. Mm. I think I'm gonna end my night with some tea and call it a night. Mm -hmm. After this. Mm. And making my tea is exactly what I did. What you guys don't know is I believe this is the day that my household and I caught COVID. So as you can see, I'm putting apple cider vinegar in my tea again, and I'm making my tea, and that's just how I ended my day. I am getting better because this video was like, this video is like three weeks old, and I'm just now posting it because I have been battling COVID. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check out Bellway down below in the description box and use the coupon code to save money off. And like this video if you like this video. In my next video, I can show you guys how I'm tracking my calories and my macros while not being on keto but still being low carb. If you want, let me know down below in the comment section and I can do that video for you guys. Um, but yeah, I love you all. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.